Hey guys, it's Mr. Wachowski at Central Cabarrus Student Services. I'm one of your counselors at Central Cabarrus. Uh, in this video, I want to talk to you about how to use PowerSchool for student registration for classes for next year. All right, so some things about PowerSchool uh, and registration. PowerSchool will open on January 26, 2021. It's a Tuesday. Uh, it's going to open, and that really is the kickoff day for registration for next year's classes. So classes uh, in 2021, 2022. Uh, PowerSchool will stay open from January 26th all the way to Friday, uh, February 5th. We'll close it at 3 p.m kind of at the end of the school day. Um, students must make their class selections inside PowerSchool um, for them to register like what classes you want for next year. So your counselor can look at that and build schedules for next year. And also then later talk to you about the classes that you want to take. Um, if you have any problem with getting into PowerSchool, maybe you don't even know your login, or maybe you knew it, but you forgot it. Uh, you can always ask any one of your teachers. So any, periods one through four, any one of your teachers can help you get into PowerSchool, help you reset the password, whatever's needed. They can help you do that. Um, and then ultimately, um, well, I'm sorry, the, the week of February 1st to the 5th, during third period lunches, counselors will be available on Teams. So we will send you guys emails with a link to jump on Teams if you have questions about classes, about um, selecting classes or, or choosing them. You can come and see us, like I said, during uh, third period lunches, February 1st to the 5th. That's Monday to Friday. Um, and all of our registration information is at this bit.ly link right over here, which we'll also email to you. So everything, including the link to get into PowerSchool, um, is all here. And then when you're ready to go to PowerSchool, you're going to follow uh, this web address, or as I said, the link that will email you to go into uh, PowerSchool to make your selection. So again, um, you got to make those selections in PowerSchool. So let's take a look at PowerSchool and show how to make your selections. Okay, so once you've logged into PowerSchool, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Now, I think the first page that comes up in PowerSchool actually is your grades and attendance. Now, this screen that I'm using is just like a beta screen, so it's not anybody's real information. It's just a uh, tool that I can use to show you. But like I said, once you come to the first screen, it'll probably be your grades and your attendance. I do want to point out a couple things. So um, you can always look at your grades and attendance for this term right now, uh, right here. You can look at your grade history. So if you want to see back um, what classes you took last year and what grade did you get in any particular class, you can always look in grade history. And then down here, this is where we're going to enter course requests for registration for next year. So you'll probably land here, but be sure to click on class registration and it will take you to this page right here. So this is what registration page looks like. Now I've got some instructions and I've got some links here. So if you wanted to go back over to registration and look at that page, you could. If you want to look at graduation requirements. I've got a link for that. I've got some other instructions and I'm telling you, um, in red right here, I say be sure to submit your request at the bottom of the page. Some students forget to do that, so be sure to do that. And then um, registration will be open from January 26th all the way to February 5th uh, at 3 p.m. We'll close it, okay? So you're going to scroll down, and you're going to see classes um, in groupings, English, math, science, social studies, electives and then alternates okay so you're going to probably pick classes from all of these uh, groupings 
So in English, depending on, you know, what grade level you're in um, and whatever's the next class that you need to take or want to take, we're going to click over on the right hand side is this little box and it says click to edit English. So we're going to choose that and then um, you can see we can choose uh, one class, right? You can only choose one. So you're going to pick one. You can change them. Uh, sometimes you'll notice that class or this grouping has two pages so it's more than one page so you're gonna have to look for that as well so I'm gonna I'm gonna be an 11th grader so I'm gonna choose English 3 and then I hit OK all right now let's say I've changed my mind and I, I don't want I changed my mind. I don't want that you can always go back in there and you can change it English 3 honors okay Okay, and then here it is. It's added it in, this, in essence to like, it's added it to my cart of classes. And I'm going to do the same with English. Notice there's two pages. I'm going to do pre-calc. Okay, there it is. Science. Now you'll notice it has a note here. 10th and 11th must choose a science. Seniors can choose to leave this blank if they have met the science requirement. So if you've met your graduation requirements, don't want a science, you can leave that blank for your 12th grade. But I'm going to choose physical science, which is in the second page. There it's added. Social studies. American history one honors. And then here starts my elective. So now I've got all my core classes. Now I'm choosing electives. Now I, you are going to notice something here. You must choose at least four. So here's a screen where you can choose more than one, right? Or you have to choose more than one. And you're going to notice across the bottom, not just two pages, we've got 10 pages of classes over here. Okay, well, more than that. We've got 13 altogether. So you're going to choose classes probably across multiple pages okay and then once you've done that you click OK now I've got it says at least four I've got one two three four five and that's a lot because then I have six seven eight nine well that's too many because really I need eight classes so I'm going to take one of these guys off so now I have eight now, my alternates are my backup classes. They're not my first choice electives here. They're my backup electives to these classes here. So I'm going to do the same thing again here, and I'm going to choose my alternates. Okay? And you, you must choose four alternates. All right? Do not choose the same courses. Some students... We'll go in and they'll choose these electives here and then they come down and copy the same thing that doesn't help at all basically you're ranking and you're saying these are my top four electives and then my alternates are essentially number five six seven eight and so on it's kind of uh you're they're not your first choice things they're backups to these top choices and then ultimately um at the bottom of the screen which this screen doesn't have it is a submit button so you're gonna click submit and that will send your courses over to your counselor and then they can work on building uh, schedules for next year I do want to tell you that until February 5th you can still go back in let's say you go in on the first day of registration and you pick classes but then you're like oh I changed my mind until the 5th at 3 you can still go back to class registration and go in and make changes after February 5th um, you'll only be able to view what a list of what you've signed up for. So you can't change it after the fifth um, inside of PowerSchool, but you will with your counselor when you talk to them. Okay, guys, I hope this uh, video helps you understand how to use PowerSchool and how to submit your class requests for next year. Okay, thank you, guys.